Well, hello everybody. We are going over the connectors and some of the features on the new Quantum Resonance uh, Crystal Bed control box. So what we have in front of us is the front panel to the control box where we have power, frequency, FS or full spectrum, and light. We'll go over what those mean in a minute. On the bottom of the unit, we have the power plug. We have a knob right down here. And this knob adjusts the crossover frequency for the vibration. And what that means is it allows more or less sound to go through. Not volume, but um, how much sound the transducers can hear. Um, we also have the shoe right here which slides onto the tripod and locks it in place. Uh, some rubber feet. On the side of this box we have the plug that plugs the lighting system in. Um, that comes from the light bar and it plugs in. We have the accessory port for frequencies. And what that means is if you're using an external PEMF device, like a Spooky 2 generator or a biomodulator or something along those lines, you can plug it in to this port and it will send those frequencies into the system. Now, our system already has a frequency generator, so you don't need to do that if you don't want to. Uh, here is a plug to plug in the transducers for vibration. Moving to the back, we have the volume knob for the, vi uh, the massage table, the vibrations, and then one for the headphones. There's a little SD card in the back of this that holds all the information for the lighting system. So it, it tells the lighting system what kind of colors to play and so on and so forth. On this side we have headphones, we have music input, so that goes from your music player straight into here. And there's another knob here and this adjusts how bright the full spectrum lighting is. So let's get into plugging some of these items in. And we're on my test bench, which means that some of the plugs may look a little bit more raw or rough than the ones that you would get, but this is how we do it to hook up and test systems. So this is the plug that you would see on your power supply and that would plug in to here. It's shaped like the letter D, so there's one side that's flat and the other side's around. When you want to take this apart, you have to pull, and what it does is it opens it up a little bit and allows it to escape. And um, we're going to keep plugging some parts in as we go. This is one of my rough and ragged uh, accessories. So this would be for the light bar. Let's pretend it's the light bar. It plugs in place here. And for your light bar, it would snap in. And then there's a release button right there. We are also going to go ahead and plug in the accessory port as if we had the Spooky 2 generator hooked up. And again, you don't need to hook that up if you don't have one. It's not going to affect anything. Uh, here is the plug for the transducers. This plug has a couple of tabs on it and a release button here. So 
it is a snap lock on the other side we've got our headphone jack and finally the music player and this has a super short cord on it for filming and so that's everything that's plugged in right now and we're going to head and switch on the power and here's our one Vogel holder so when you switch on power uh, this button is red it does not glow or anything like that so the only way to tell that your system is on and working is you're gonna see lights flashing on the control on the light bar uh, what from lights and full spectrum uh, what we've tr opted to do on this setup is try to keep any kind of light that would um, turn on away from the client so they don't get distracted by accessory lights um, let's move over to the lighting system here this is a simple on off button when you turn it on the lighting system kicks on now uh, on the top we have four buttons one of them says pro that changes the lights total of 15 different patterns and uh, they make more sense when you have all seven Vogel holders hooked up but we're going to leave it on red right now since it's the easiest one to see while we're filming we have a plus and minus up there and, and a set button the set button puts whatever you're currently on in long-term memory so when you come back to the system after having it turned off it'll go straight to that let's move over to the next button FS is full spectrum so the full spectrum is a combination of infrared and ultraviolet and so kicking that on it's a bright pink light that glows here when we reach over to the right hand side we had that long shaft knob what that does is turns up or down the brightness I'm just going to stick a cue card over that so we can see a little bit easier. Now, this button has three positions. The top one just is a steady on, middle is off, bottom is pulse. When we have music playing and we turn it to pulse, this is going to pulse I'm going to get this to a spot where it's going to pulse madly for us there we go now you can kind of see it pulsing yeah there we go and we're going to turn that off for the filming because it's super distracting. Uh, that's full spectrum. Right below full spectrum is a port that you can plug into to charge your music player and there's a cable to do that. Next one up is frequency. So inside of the Vogel holders is a coil and that sends the pulsed electromagnetic frequencies into the crystals. Now when we turn that on it takes the music and sends it to the coil. When we turn it off, it turns off the PMF, and when we do bypass, that's when we get something like the spooky generator or some other PEMF device that was plugged in on the side over here to come in and go to the coil. So for most people, we're going to just leave it on. And then finally the on off button. On the back side, I hope I get some cooperation here with my parts. We have the table vibration. And we're just going to turn that up right now. And you 
can hear what's going on. When we push these in, it mutes the sound. So you're going to want to make sure, if you can't hear anything, that for one, it's not muted, and another, it's not turned down. Now, I need to turn that quite a ways in order to hear it. So don't be afraid to turn it up. But um, again, might be a better option for you to turn it down first, hit the button, and then turn it up. Same thing for the headphones. They can be muted by pressing it, or turning it up and down. So we're going to get to go back to the frequencies for a second. And we're going to move this in so we can show you the oscilloscope and what's going on. And let's get a little zoom in here. So the one that's dancing madly, well, that is the music player. You can see it goes steady. Now, the one in the background is our generator that's off to the side of the box that you can't see. And that one is just doing a steady signal of 100 hertz. So that 100 hertz is, is that pretty wave that's in front of it. When we turn back on the music, we will see how those frequencies are dancing around. Now, the frequencies that we use are really specific and designed for the maximum benefit for your body. Um, using master numbers, solfagio tones, other uh, special frequencies. So, that's what we have going on there. And we're just going to take a second And we're going to go to a different soundtrack. So, ooh boy, this one's terrible. The one that we're going to play right now is 1 hertz through 1000 hertz. So you're going to see that sine wave start to get more intense as we keep talking, as it's working its way up the scale. And um, this is one of the, the beneficial attributes of using the music player to send information into the PEMF device. And what we're going to do is press roll, which is going to quickly scroll. So you can see the, the pink sine wave isn't doing anything, it's just sitting there. And yet the one with the music is becoming more intense as it's going through its variations. I'm going to hit auto setup, which is going to reset everything back to its original form for us to see. And we're going to take the pink one offline so you can just focus on the one that's going on here. Now this is just a sine wave that we are telling to walk up a musical scale. So you can imagine what happens when you get more uh, musical structure, if you will. We're going to pull up one of our songs the quantum resonance beats, those are typically really good for that. 
and we're just going to bring it into a few minutes in. So there's a lot more information going on here. We've got the ability to, to transfer this information into the body so it has just a better overall. effect with the music. So there you have it folks. Thanks so much.